what is this social security mixed with money? What's this about? Hmm. First article, US will default if debt deal fails. This is not Whitney Webb. This is not Alex Jones. This is not, uh, what's the other guy, Corbett Report that does, again, great investigative journalism. This is not alternative media. This is straight from the horse's mouth, okay? The Treasury Secretary, Janet Yellen. According to Yellen, if Congress fails to reach an agreement on raising the country's current <laughs> $31.4 trillion debt. Yes, $31 trillion. Brothers and sisters, I don't think you quite understand how much money that is. First and foremost, a billion dollars is a thousand million dollars. So a trillion is a thousand billion dollars. Mm. We're talking about 31 of those. Anyway, <laughs> that's the U.S. debt currently. Uh, <laughs> the Treasury Secretary Yellen says that if they can't, fit, can't raise the ceiling, meaning print more money, if we can't do this by June, it will be forced to default on, quote, some of its bills. Now, you may be asking bills, what, like a light bill or payments electricity bill for the government? Or no, brothers and sisters, the government's bills are things like Social Security, OK, it says here, um, quote, there's always uncertainty about tax receipts and spending. And so it's hard to be absolutely certain about this. But my assessment is that the odds of reaching June 15, a few weeks time, while being able to pay all of our bills is quite low. My assumption is this is still yelling. My assumption is that if the debt ceiling isn't raised, meaning we print more money, when you print money, you devalue your currency. My assumption is that if the debt ceiling isn't raised, there will be hard choices to make what bills go unpaid. The Treasury Secretary did not say which bills she had in mind, but noted mm. that the government's most immediate obligations range from paying interest on outstanding debt, which I'll come back to in a moment, the interest on the outstanding debt to obligations to seniors who count on social security, meaning they may stop paying social security. That's deep in of itself because this is, Shapat, this is about everything we've been talking about for years. We told people for years that, that, they, that there's no money in the coffers for social security. It's over, right? And, and really America is living off of borrowed money. And guess what? They've been depleted and robbed, robbed social security, the coffers. Yeah. So now they have a built in excuse. Well, there's no money there anyway. So what to do for those who are on social security? Well, there will eventually move people into, into monthly stipends under a social on the under a socialist program mm -hmm. under fed coin <laughs> yeah <laughs> so what they're seeking to do and not only that and this is what people don't understand welfare that was te tested with the poor was really their plan to control a whole nation under socialism so what we'll do is we'll give out welfare checks to everyone yeah. but take all your jobs Mm, which will industry overseas yeah which will stunt your your ability to get <laughs> to ever move past low class okay they take it away the, the upper class and the middle class until even it out as they claim even it out make everyone poor mm, yep that's their plan make everyone poor Okay, socialism at its best. Now, eventually, they'll be able to get our people on board, especially those who are poor, because why? Hey, you know how we was down with those stimulus. It's cool. It's better than nothing at all. But then when you take away the right to earn beyond one level, you hmm. take ambition and the power of a, comp of a country that thrive through entrepreneurship, 
through capitalism. And there'll be no one with money to pull us out of the gutter. Okay? Mm. Usually we have what? We have entertainment, football, sports, and we'll get someone in our family somewhere will have the aptitude and the drive to pull us out. Well, no, there'll be none of that. <laughs> Folks, <laughs> we're talking about, Chapat, the Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> where the whole country have been made poor. The have and the have nots yeah, is, no where, is where we're going. And they rolled, they rolled this out long, the welfare program. Also, when they gave everyone stimulus, they wanted to see how people react to that. And they gave re really uh, people a lot of money during the stimulus, right? But the whole thing is when Social Security no longer exists, you're going to see that money go down more and more and more. At first, they're going to give people enough to say, yeah, I'm down with this. It's like stimulus. But then they're going to come up a few more years and say, yeah, we have another debt limit and it still ain't working out. So we're going to have to lower your stipends. And now everyone gets three hundred dollars a week after they've broken. I mean, three hundred dollars a month mm. after they have broken you. And how, how did they break you? They've made people complacent under a welfare system with no Ooh. idea of how to earn beyond their current status. That's the plan. Here we go. The Bible. Is it hard to understand? When it comes to reading the Bible, the first thing that comes to mind is the fact that this is the word of God. The seals have been broken and the truth is here. And when we go throughout the scriptures, when we go throughout extra biblical records, we find that the language that God employed, that he used to create the heavens and the earth, was the Hebrew language. Christ said, I came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But yet no one, no religious leader, no religious church out there anywhere can now identify the 12 tribes of Israel. Can we? God is quite simple, but it seems as if man makes understanding him hard. What are those mysteries? The truth of your book. And the truth will make you free. The Hebrew and Bible Academy, you're invited.